I'm about as real as they come. All my beats tailored by Joe. Maserati Rick in Detroit Convertible bird in Miami Graduated summa cum laude Strip club made a tsunami Carlton Hines with the ball game Grateful Edmonds with the snowflakes Craig Pettis in the M-Town Sal Magluta with the boat game Falcone with the cocaine Like Freeway Ricky with the plug game Like Monster Cody in South Central Larry Davis from Close Range Cocaine Sonny A.K.A. C. Murder, the ruthless leader of the Seven Mile Bloods. See how the feds use social media to bring him down. Then I was C. Murder, then prison time, then I beat a murder. This is Corey Bailey, A.K.A. Sonny, A.K.A. Cocaine Sonny. He also rapped and did videos. This gay s*** in my bloodline. Sonny's now in federal custody with several other Seven Mile Bloods awaiting trial for murder. Since these are federal cases, they can include the death penalty. Take a look. A decision on Corey Bailey, Sonny, is pending with the Department of Justice. Bailey and other gang members had their pictures posted online by rival gangs, creating a hit list. Two FBI nabbing a leader of one of Detroit's deadliest gangs. It's part of one of the Fed's ongoing efforts to dismantle that gang and others wreaking havoc in the city. The now's Jonathan Carlson live on the east side with a look at this story. Jonathan? Hey, yeah, good afternoon, guys. That uh, gang calling this area the red zone here, and the U.S. attorney says uh, if she has her way, they'll soon be out of business. Take a look at the area that we're in here. U.S. attorney Barbara McQuaid talking to us in her Detroit office moments ago. She's handed down a handful of indictments. A sweep, months in the making, nabbed a leader of the Seven Mile Bloods, one of the city's most violent gangs, claiming this area off Seven Mile on the east side as their own. She says Detroit has a neighborhood gang problem as opposed to some other major cities, which see a wider spread presence. And to reduce the problem, she says officials are hard at work on prevention to reduce gang recruitment. And she hopes stories like this put gang leaders on notice. You know, gang violence is one of the drivers of homicide and violent crime in Detroit, so we've really made it um, a focus. And the feds say that more indictments could be coming. We'll have much more coming up on Action News at 6. For now, we're live on the east side. I'm Jonathan Carlson, the now Detroit. Drugs, guns, and murder. A Detroit gang leader taken down by the feds, and now we're going to show you how they did it. Tonight, we're getting a rare look at the life of a Detroit gang kingpin. The feds say Corey Bailey, better known as Cocaine Sonny, ruled the notorious Seven Mile Bloods gang, and he did it with extreme violence. Sean Lay talked with his family and shows us how he turned an entire zip code into the red zone. A whopping 19 members of this gang have now been convicted in federal court. And at the very top of that list, the gang leader who once controlled an entire Detroit zip code. They've been after him for years. This is a stark and stunning image, an aunt having a conversation with us about her beloved nephew. I'm his, uh, his mom's sister. Ursuline Peterson loves her nephew, Corey Bailey. You know, I just can't believe all this was going on, you know. This conversation happened right outside of federal court where Corey Bailey had just been sentenced to life in prison. Why? Forget the name Corey Bailey for years. The feds say he ran the Detroit zip code 48205 as the infamous gangster Cocaine Sonny or C. Murda. 48205, the red zone, a war zone, where police and neighbors knew Cocaine Sonny ran the Seven Mile Bloods gang. Drugs, guns, murder, and fear. Corey Bailey, the feds say, was a kingpin, rapping about his exploits online. And when gang members started putting hit lists up on Instagram, everything for Corey Bailey and his Seven Mile Bloods started to crumble. Phone towers, phone towers that's supposed to put him at a, a the murder scene, you know. Social media, cell data, the best friends to federal prosecutors. DPD, ATF, DEA, FBI, they flooded the red zone. They made arrests and put Bailey on trial for mafia-like charges, looking to lock him up forever. Yeah, it told me apart during this trial. It told me apart during this 
this hearing. Cocaine Sonny got life in prison. No Seven Mile Bloods here to support him. No camera crews to shoot another rap video. Just Corey Bailey's aunt showing love for her nephew. God is his judge and jury. I always told him that. You know, no matter what people say, you know, don't worry about what people say about you because God got you every step of the way. Here's the tally of convictions related to this one gang. 15 RICO convictions, two murder in racketeering convictions, two attempted murder convictions, one conspiracy to murder conviction, three felony in possession of firearm convictions, four use of firearm and violent crimes convictions, and two federal drug dealing convictions all from this one gang in Detroit, Sean Light, local four. Yeah, yeah, we back, it's your boy pop a lot. Mob, ties, we on our way to Detroit with it. The D, I'm gonna need all my guys to get in the comment box, y'all know how we do it. Welcome back type shit. Now today, we are gonna be covering a gentleman by the name of Corey Bailey or see murder or cocaine sunny but i would not feel comfortable if we did not also speak about a billy arnold or or pretty much you can't really talk about either of them two guys without talking about the smb or the seven mile bloods um and for those in Detroit, we already know that y'all know for those that are not in the city, they're just going to be a group of guys that pretty much, I want to say controlled a zip code within Detroit. Um, and that zip code is going to be 48205. And when I say controlled it, I'm not there on an everyday basis. We come around and we check in, but we don't know. It might be a block here, it might be a block there, but for the most part, from my knowledge, this area is going to be called the Red Zone. It's also going to be called 4820 Die. Uh, yeah, and this gang has a, has a history, and I want to say the history goes back up until 2003 and this is according to detroit the detroit news website now it could be further than that but that's going to be pretty much um the start of the organization and as far as the activity we're going to talk about we're going to kind of take off right around 2014 right around July 2014, because that's when it's going to get real. That's when shit is gonna change. That's when the city is gonna get turned up because at that time it was a shooting um, that pretty much changed Detroit. Now, if you know, you know, um, it's gonna be, uh, I well, the Seven Mile Bloods was, from my understanding, they had 21 members that got indicted, but it was said that they were a big organization. So that led a lot of other gangs on the east side to click up to to form op opposition uh, to the Seven Mile Bloods, and it's gonna it's gonna be upwards more than five gangs. I know it was the Hustle Boys, Max Out 2020. Um, Maple Ridge and those are just to name a few and I left out a few intentionally but that a shooting that happened mid-July sparked an all-out war that would lead to members of the Seven Mile Bloods being posted on the internet at least 10 members and what would be formed or called a hit list and out of that 10 members i want to say at least seven of the at least seven of those people on that list were shot i want to say at least four of them were shot fatally one of the people that was shot was cocaine sonny's older brother based on my research um and that 
that shooting pretty much started a span of retali retaliatory shootings, almost like where I see in every city. I spoke with a, a guy from Atlanta about something going on with Summer Hill at Cleveland Avenue. It's almost going to be something like the same thing. Kind of reminds me of what's going on down in Duval. And also, we all know about Chicago. But that shooting would lead to the murder of a guy by the name of Devin McClure, a.k.a. Block. Um, now, he is influential because, like I said at the beginning, I had to mention Billy Arnold because it was some some media outlets that reported that he was the leader. And actually, if you look at his charges compared to Cocaine Sonny's charges, um, they're almost slight because it's like he was involved with a lot of the gang shootings, a lot of the uh, murders that took place. And so, it, well, it's hard to tell if he was boss because some some places said that he was the leader. And as you've seen, they try to glorify Corey Bailey as the leader. Now, as far as Corey Bailey and my research, they say he was one of the more prolific hustlers from the group. So it could be where it could be that that caused him to be mentioned as the leader, but they definitely mentioned him as one of the founding members of the gang. And it could be that. Now, um, and according to the Detroit News, they also mentioned uh, Devin McClure, aka Block, as one of the longtime leaders. And, and y'all that want to do more research or more information, they also was doing music. Um, I want to say they were in a music video titled Murder that and you can find that Cocaine Sunny featuring Block. And I want to say Billy Arnold was also on that record under his alias. So y'all kind of go do your own research and check that out. But like I said, that shooting led to the murder of Devin Block McCor. And that, it just was a, a ever going spiral down, um, down a long road that has us covering this subject today now i did see where the where the, the detroit um kind of well they in an effort to clean up detroit let's just say the fbi went in and cracked down on a lot of these gangs um but that still didn't stop a lot of the violence i even personally seen that a lot of people that were tied in with the indictment some of them are coming home we want to welcome them home because a lot of your favorite rappers are tied in right into this beef. They might not just be on the front lines. But definitely they lost some soldiers around this shit. And it's serious. This shit is not a game. Um, I don't know what more to say about this shit. Y'all niggas better stay out, stay inside if y'all ain't ready for this shit, boy. It's your boy Popular. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. P-O-P -P underscore A underscore L-O-T. And we're going to be back with some more real trill spill shit. Y'all already know what it is. The mob. 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 Ties.